how high can Jing Liu's crit damage go? Well, technically, if we wanted to use Yu Kong, we could actually pair her with both Branya and Sparkle and achieve a massive amount of 537% crit damage. However, the problem with this team is that you actually run into diminishing returns because the attack percent isn't really needed on Jing Liu. The crit rate is also useless. So essentially, at the end of the day, what is an extra 65% crit damage when you're already above 400? So for this team, I did swap in Ron Mei instead of Yu Kong. And now we're going to be going for a dual action advance setup where we use Sparkle and Branya, and we just keep on advancing Jing Liu about four times per turn, per wave rather. And on top of that, we do want Sparkle to actually go first. That way we can boost up Jing Liu and then Branya gives us our 100% action advance to end off. So let's see what the builds are for Jing Liu. We are going to go for a 40 over 240, which means that we actually are going to hit 100% crit rate thanks to Sparkle's Light Cone. Now I did opt for the attack boots because in this setup, speed is just not needed. Now for Sparkle, she's 146, which is important because she's slightly faster than Branya. And now we're just going for maximum crit damage, mainly just because I wanted this to look cool. I wanted the number to go as high as possible. Now Branya is 137, so she is a fair bit slower than Sparkle, which is perfect. And she is also built with a good amount of crit damage, so we can transfer over just as much crit damage as possible to Jing Liu. Ron May is on the slow build with Keel, so I did get rid of the extra break effect in exchange for some effect res just so we can add 10% extra crit damage to Jing Liu. So let's see how this run against the old MOC 12 goes because unfortunately there's nothing else with ice weaknesses. This team probably does destroy things off element, but I just felt like uh, doing it on element. Now the only problem with this side of the MOC is that this is the buff that gives our destruction units a free turn at the beginning. So to counteract that and kind of give a slight handicap, we are just going to be basicing every time we get a free turn as to not increase the stacks of Syzygy that we could gain normally. So we're now going to get into our first action advance, which is perfect. So now this is going to take us into the special transmigration state. We're going to save our ult, use it on Branya's boosted turn. Now this damage is nowhere near optimal because we are missing the ults from all three of our supports. Nonetheless, it does do a pretty sizable amount of damage. Ronmei does get a pretty nice break there, so we don't have to take that damage. And now we get into our third action advanced turn with Jing Liu. So now we will pop Ronmei's ult just to make sure that we can hopefully leave this enemy at a sliver because we don't want it to die now. And this is perfect. I did do this perfectly, so it had just a little bit of toughness left. So if for some reason we don't crit, the break effect is going to make sure it dies. Now with this uh, stupid free turn, we are just going to basic again. So hopefully we don't uh, benefit too much from it, which we won't because it's not like we're going to ult anyway. So that extra energy will be coming from the skill. And now we pop all of our ults. In retrospect, uh, Sparkle's ult might have been better to wait until the proper turn of Jing Liu, so it lasted an extra turn. But nonetheless, we are at 100% crit rate and 465% crit damage with a ton of damage boost as well. The damage boost is extremely necessary because Jing Liu is a slut for damage. Wonderful. Now we do get our second boosted turn with Jing Liu, and damn, 390 is pretty good. Once more, one percent, one percent. Luckily, we have another turn. Can she do it? Can she deal the last 1%? Thank you, Jing Liu. Beautiful run. I appreciate it very much. So that is the Jing Liu double 
support double action advanced team it's a uh, it's a really fun team i like it it uh it might not actually output as much damage as using pela because pela will just crack your damage out because not only does she give extra ice res but the defense shred on top of the extra stacks of defense shred that you can get from um let's see maybe like uh jing liu's light cone ron may's e1 if you've got her then pala is just cracked when it comes to being uh, on a team with jing liu but for this one i did just opt for the triple harmony triple limited harmony technically and uh it's a damn fun team damn fun so if you guys enjoyed it uh please let me know in the comments any ideas you've got like the video and uh, subscribe thanks for watching adios